to mm -hmm. the former Wisconsin judge killed in a targeted attack. A hit list with more names was found in a car near the scene. New Jersey Judge Esther Salas, whose son was killed at her home, is now pleading for Congress to listen and act. Trevor Old joins us with the very latest. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning, Lindsay. And this really seems to have been a horrifying death for this Wisconsin judge. And authorities say there's even evidence showing that this suspect likely wanted to kill even more high-profile people had they not found him inside the judge's house. This morning, authorities investigating the death of former Wisconsin Judge John Romer say this was a targeted attack by a suspect with a clear connection to the judge. Police say that man is 56-year-old Douglas Udi. According to documents found by ABC News, back in 2005, Judge Romer sentenced Udi to six years in state prison after Udi pleaded no contest to armed burglary. It's his neighbor's son from across the street is banging on the door saying that someone murdered his father. Around 6.30 Friday morning, as police rushed to the judge's home, law enforcement briefed on the case tell ABC News Judge Romer was found zip-tied to a chair and fatally shot, with Udi found in the basement with a self-inflicted gunshot wound but still alive and now in custody at the hospital. Those same sources saying a hit list was found in a car at the scene. It included the judge's name, along with Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, and Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers. A judge from a rural county is, is targeted and, and, and murdered. Uh, it's just, it's a, a abhorrent to our, our judiciary and to uh, to a leadership in our, in, our, in our state and our country. So, yeah, it's, it's a horrible situation. In 2020, a disgruntled lawyer posing as a delivery man went to federal judge Esther Salas's New Jersey home, shot her husband, and killed her son. Since then, Salas has been pushing Congress to pass legislation protecting the privacy of judges. As she told our Robin Roberts back in May. Why are we waiting? What are we waiting for? Another tragedy to happen? I mean, what Mark and I are living, we wish on no one. We wish on no one. And that bill protecting judges' privacy does have bipartisan support, but it was blocked from being called for a vote by Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. Not because he disagrees with it, but because he wants it to include members of Congress's privacy also. Guys. All right. Thank you, Trevor. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.